Hello everyone. So in this particular video, we are going to talk about how we can use chat GPT with Google Sheets. In this video, we'll be understanding how we can enable chat GPT and what all amazing functionalities we can use with the chat GPT API. Also in this video, we'll be looking at how helpful is chat GPT to work with data cleaning and data analysis. Now it is sometimes required you to clean the data or sometimes required you to do a lot of data cleaning or maybe data manipulation tasks. When it comes to chat GPT, it can make your life very simplified and I'll show you in this particular video. But before I start this video, don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up, share this video with everyone who is looking to use chat GPT and don't forget to subscribe our channel session with Sumit. So let's get started. Now, the very first thing that we have to do is to enable chat GPT. Before we enable chat GPT in Google Sheets, we have to download or install the extension. So for that, we go to extension, we go to add on and get add on. Now here you have to type GPT or you can write chat GPT. So I'll write chat GPT, press enter. And then the very first add on or the extension that you will get, which is GPT for Google Sheets and document, you have to install it. Now, in my case, it is already installed. Uh, so for me, it is showing uninstall, but you have to just click install and you have to continue it. It will also ask you to verify your account. So just give you a verification. You are all done. So I'll close it. Now, the next thing that you have to do is to enable the chat GPT extension, which is there in your Google Sheets with the API. So we have to integrate. So how we can perform integration? go to extension and go to chat gpt so here you will get the gpt extension here you have to set the api key now how we can get the api key to get the api key you have to create your account in openai.com so we are here we have openai.com you have to log in with your email id and then you have to go to your account and view api key now right now for me i have already having to api key you can click on this create new api key once you are done you have to copy it so i'll just create a new api key and i can copy it i can click ok and then i can go back to my google sheets paste it over here check and then save and that is all you have to do basically to integrate your chat gpt functionalities with the google sheets now let's see what all amazing things we can do. So the very first is how we can simply use chat GPT. So here I've written uh, some of the amazing things that I can do with chat GPT. Let's see how we can do this. So there is a function known as GPT. If I say GPT and let's say I want my GPT to uh, write down a story regarding how Sumit became successful. So let me show how we can do this. So write 200 words a story on how Sumit be became a data scientist from being a waiter. And let's see how chat GPT can respond to us. So it will take some time. And here you go. So there, there is a very fascinating story that the uh, GPT has came up with. Sumit had always been fascinated by number and pa patterns. As a child, he would spend hours poring over mathematical puzzles and riddles. And you can see that how amazing it is. But let's say I also wanted to come up with taglines or maybe uh, some marketing pitch for my uh, product. So let's see uh, is equal to gpt list and i want to come up with let's say three taglines or three marketing pitch for my product or uh, let's say i am selling a mobile phone so i'll write down this description over here three uh three marketing pitch pitch to sell 
my old iPhone and let's see how it is going to give us the result gpt underscore list and I want the result for this and here you can see that we have result uh, there are three marketing pitch that gpt has came up with and here you can basically get your task done very easily without putting your efforts isn't it amazing right so let's see what other things that we can do with chat gpt the next thing is data cleaning how we can use chat gpt to clean your data now it it is really a tough task to clean your data and when it comes to textual data i have been in multiple situations where i have to put a lot of efforts to clean the data but chat gpt can make your life simple amazing and it is great so let's see uh, all you have to do is so here you can see i have created some format I'll, all i have to do is just write gpt fill now what gpt fill will do it will understand the pattern so you have to provide some historical data of what exactly you wanted to do and then it will use that to perform the next task for you so i'm saying that these are the examples these are the examples basically when sumit shukla was in title case it has been corrected to sumit shukla again rajesh shukla anjali tripathi and all their names are corrected and now I wanted to correct this one. So let's see how it is going to work. And here you can see that. Let me just put this thing over here. So you can see that how it is easy it is to use chat GPT and it has simply corrected everything, removed all the spaces, removed all the uh, all the emojis, corrected the case and has given you the correct result. Now uh, let's say also you wanted to Correct the email IDs again. GPT fill. So the, let me write down GPT fill over here is equal to GPT fill. I'll provide them the function with some example, and I want the operation to be done on this one. And here you can see that it has automatically created the email ID from the format which was like this, which was Deepu then at google.com it has properly created a email id which you can directly use now now let's say i wanted to also extract date so let's say I, this is my date format and you can see that there are various date formats for some i am having hyphen for some i am having slash for some i am having a date format like this now how we can get the various components of date without uh, writing any excel formula or maybe any formatting or custom formatting let's see how we can do this so all i have to do is let's say i'll go to this row i'll say is equal to gpt fill i'm again using gpt fill but we can also use gpt extract and format also i'll show you that example also so gpt fill i'll provide the example i'll say i wanted to get these components for this particular date let's see how it is going to work so you can see that for this date we have obtained the day which is 16 month which is 1 which is january 2023 is the year we can do the same task using the extract functionality let's see how so for gpt extract what you have to do is i'll quickly delete this row and I'll say I want to extract so GPT underscore extract. I want to extract from this date and what you want to extract. So I wanted to extract day and I'll just freeze the row so that I can expand the formula. So here your day is 16. Let's expand the formula to month and year. And here you are getting error okay there is one error so let me delete this let me go back to here let me freeze this value also and now we can simply expand this formula to month and year so month is january and your year is 2023 now here you can see that extract function has 
used the native format to extract you the details but using fill it learns from the uh, example and then according to the example it gives you the result so accordingly you can use whatever you wanted to use there is one more functionality which comes with gpt which is known as gpt format you can format your date so let me delete this one and let's say i wanted to format all these de uh, dates into one format which is let's say utc format or iso format so is equal to gpt underscore format i wanted to format this date into iso format or you can use utc universal time coordinate system and i'll expand this to all the rows and here you can see that even when i was having hyphen I got slash because that is the universal time format. Even when I was having January 16, 2023, I got it in the correct format. So this is how amazing it's, it is to use chat GPT for your data cleaning task. That's not done. We have more to learn from this. We can do a lot of things. Let's see. Let's say I'm, I'm wanted to generate, uh, in, uh, maybe I wanted to convert this particular LinkedIn into the, uh, into a web link or a web address let's see how we can do this so gpt underscore format i want to format this into a url and here you are done like you get a clean format without doing any kind of concatenation without using any kind of formatting let's see what i can else do let's say i'm having some numbers and I want to convert this into the number formats, which represents uh, currency also. So GPT underscore format. I wanted to format this number into INR, Indian, Indian rupees. And I'll expand this formula to the rest of the rows. So here you can see that we are getting the correct format. Let's say I wanted to convert this number into the Indian number style or the type of number format or the telephone number or the mobile number which we use in India. Again, very simple to use GPT format. I wanted to format this number into Indian phone number. You can be explanatory. You can explain your requirement. So Indian phone number and let's try to change it to indian phone number and here you can see it has properly converted the number into indian phone number let's say i wanted to make this name appear with title case so is equal to gpt underscore format i wanted to format this name with title case so name with title of the person and let's see how it works. And here you can see Mr. Sumesh Shukla. Let's say I wanted to get the complete name of this company. So uh, let's add more companies like ENY or EY. And let's say our company name as MACD. Let's see how it works. Is equal to um, GPT underscore format. I wanted to format this in um, complete company name yes Ernst and Young and let's check out this moving average conversion division so it is not able to recognize this because maybe MACD is not something let's say Mac let's see Apple in corporations so Mac is a brand name of so you can get like Mac is basically Apple so this is how useful is like how useful chat gpt is when you wanted to perform data cleaning and you guys must be able to understand that these are all tasks which takes a lot of time and efforts when we have to actually perform this in real life in basically your uh, data cleaning process and chat gpt can make it really simplified but that's not the end we have a lot to learn so let's move to the next step translate now if you want to translate your data or your text into any language, ChatGPT can do it in two minutes or maybe quick, very quick. Let's see. All I have to do is GPT underscore translate is the function. 
I want to translate this into let's say Hindi or let's try out um, any other language which is Tamil. I'll expand this to all the rows and we are done. It's amazing like when I was learning about this I was getting amazed because now you do not need a translator. You can write your word in English and in your any marketing brochure if you want to, to convert your brochure into into English, into Hindi, into Spanish, into Tamil, Telugu, just with one formula, one click, you are done. Amazing. That's not the all the thing that you can do with ChatGPT. ChatGPT can actually help you to classify your data and can help you to tag the data, perform sentimental tag. For example, let me just clean this all. Uh, I'll delete all this. And let me show you how we can tag this feedback into positive, negative or neutral. All I have to do is to just say GPT underscore tag. I want to tag this comment in any of these possible tags. So positive, negative, neutral, rude will buy again loyal customer. And I'll do one more thing. I'll just freeze this so that this range is not getting change when I am moving down to the next row. Let's quickly enter and let's expand the formula to all other rows or all other feedback. So here it is positive, neutral, buy again, loyal. So if you read the feedback, it says pretty good, quite like it, uh, many steps to repeat order on the website as we quite frequently order, call and order on this number. So this customer is having a positive or neutral feedback will buy again a loyal customer. Uh, regarding this, honey, I still haven't used. I didn't like the cardamom. We could not get the flavor of cardamom. It's over dried. Uh, don't want to rate it yet. I am dissatisfied. It is negative and rude. Uh, about this WhatsApp response. Oh, I love the coffee. Positive will buy again. And you can see that it is actually very useful to basically tag your data and understand the sentiment of the customer from the feedback also it is not limited to english just let's see over here we have this in hindi and here it is able to understand the tag from hindi language also so sab acha tha main aam taur par dmart brand uh, so positive neutral will buy again loyal, loyal customer uh, there is one more functionality which is gpt classify so gpt tag can provide multiple tags to a feedback but gpt classify can classify into one of the uh, category for example if i say gpt classify and i want to classify this feedback into either of this uh, Positive, negative, neutral, rude, only these. And I'll again freeze this because I do not want it to uh, change as I am changing my row. And let's expand this. And just see that GPT classify will provide you one category. So it is positive, negative, and we do not have any neutral, we have, but we do not have any rude. So that's amazing. Like that's how amazing it's to use chat GPT when it comes to tagging your data and when it comes to providing or classifying your data. But that's not the end. We have more. So data extraction is again very simple. Uh, let's say I wanted to extract the various components from this particular address. So I wanted to extract uh, a street, city and the zip code. So all I have to do let me just delete this one quickly. I'll just say is equal to GPT underscore extract. I wanted to extract a street. So I'll just freeze. I'll just freeze this one. And we'll apply this to city and zip also. And we will expand this formula. Okay, uh, we have done an error. So I have to edit this formula and freeze this value also. Press enter expand this to all the rows and columns and let's see how it is able to work so here you can see that we are able to extract the street the city name and the zip code 
and we have done one more mistake i hope you guys are able to understand but the mistake is regarding freezing this particular word i do not have to freeze the row so let me remove this press enter and let's apply to all the rows and expand it over here and we are probably done let's see how it is going to work and you can see that all the results are correct now so this is how you can use gpt extract now we have this sentence correction also gpt so let's say you are collecting manual feedback and you may get a lot of feedbacks which are written in wrong english and wrong hindi also so gpt can actually correct your sentences also for example here the particular uh, function is gpt edit and here you can see the correct the wrong word is i am love you much so and gpt edit has done it correctly i love you very much the correct format even gpt can recognize where to put a hyphen where to put a question mark over here you can see do love you me so you are getting do you love me with a question mark here you are we have written one someone asked me sumit you are data scientist with between r and data i have not left a space so gpt has corrected it very clearly once someone asked me comma in inverted commas sumit comma are you a data scientist question mark you can see how clean the result is from the dirty feedback or maybe from the incorrect sentence gpt has created a clean interface maybe a clean output which is really useful when it comes to data cleaning and when it comes to handling textual data but that's not the end <laughs> we have more and that is the like this one is the amazing like it is my favorite because it is sometimes required for us to collect the data and collecting data manually from internet is very difficult but chat gpt can do it very easily let's see how so all you have to do first of all write your requirement i need top 10 singers in india with number of songs so let's start with their name with their name comma age comma number of songs comma number of national awards and let's use gpt underscore table i want this result press enter it will take some time because it has to get the data but you will find out the data will be very structured and all the formats like all the columns that you are looking for and all the 10 rows and here you can see we have the answers so the lata mangeshkar uh asha bhosle and so on we have arjit singh also over here the number of national awards their age number of songs and to see how amazing it is right uh it takes a lot of time and effort to get this kind of data but gpt has make our life easy very easy right the last thing let's say i wanted to convert this data into csv file how we can do it is equal to gpt underscore uh convert i wanted to convert this data into a csv file or maybe a json file or maybe a parquet file i'll just say csv press enter it will return you a comma separated values which you can copy paste it in your uh, notepad and save it as dot csv file and you will be able to convert this into csv format file which you can analyze in any particular platform you want and here you can see your result that's how amazing gpt is so i hope you guys enjoyed this particular video i hope you understood how you can use the integration of gpt with google sheets to make your data analysis or maybe the uh, the life with data easy i hope you guys enjoyed this video and i hope you will be sharing this video with your friends your data friends and they will also be and uh, are able to understand that how helpful and how useful gpt functionality is before we end this video don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up because it takes a lot of effort and time to create such content and to create such videos so please appreciate us by sharing this video by commenting your feedback and sharing with all your data professional friends i hope to see you in the next video till then keep learning